So I showed you in the previous digi tip how you could use the next style feature for sort of like a, I, I tend to call it like a domino effect where we could right click the first style name and then apply that with the next style and the next style and the next style and the next style depending on how many paragraphs you've got selected. Now I actually want to do something else here. I want to automatically include some icons in front of the, the address, the phone number, and the URL down here. So how am I going to do that? Well I'm going to edit these existing last three styles and I'm going to include a bullet list icon in front of that. And it's just a single line paragraph can also be a bullet list. So at the top here in your paragraph formatting controls option or alt click the bullet list feature that will give you the dialog box that belongs with it and I'm going to select bullets. Now I've already added a uh, bunch of characters here that I don't want to use as bullets but if the characters that you're looking for are not there click the add button then select the fonts from which you would like to select a particular character so if I want to add like say a little uh, triangle pointing upwards click add and I might want to add this little one there click add click OK and you can now use those as a bullet point. For instance, if I click that here and tick the preview box, you can see the result up here. Now, because this is an address, I'll use that little envelope there. And I'm just going to change the indentation by clicking the word left indent to 6 and the first line in that I'm going to push back negative 6. That generates a hanging indent. And I'll click OK. Now, this plus in the paragraph style palette indicates that you've generated an overwrite and I've hold the mouse down there long enough it actually tells you exactly what you've done and what you've changed and how you could remove that particular overwrite that you've created. I actually don't want to do that I want to redefine this style to incorporate all of those changes so I'm going to do that right here by control or right clicking if you're on a double button mouse or you can go through the flyout menu as well and select that. Now because I've based the phone and the web address on that same style. The only thing I have to do now is option click that same bullet list button again and make some changes to the icon. So I want to use the phone icon here and again control click or right mouse click redefine the style here and we'll do the same here option or alt click and select this little oh that's a bit big so what we'll do we'll change the font size a little bit to eight points yeah, should be 7.5, shouldn't it? Okay. Yeah, that makes it just about right. And we'll redefine that style as well. Now, just to check that everything still works okay, I'm going to drag to the other side here. I'm holding the option and the space bar down as I'm doing that. And I'm going to reapply this just to check that I've done this properly. Right click the very first style you're applying and then apply it with the next style to get that beautiful domino effect and automatically add those icons in front of those last three lines.